Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Johnson Space Center for today's uh, briefing. Uh, we've begun the painful process of trying to piece together the events that occurred leading up to the loss of Columbia. Like LA Times, uh, did this At 7.54, we were over uh, Eastern California and uh, Western Nevada. At this time, the mid-fuselage left Bonline temp showed unusual temperature rise. The mid fuselage is not, if you were looking at the vehicle, the wing on the left side, the left fuselage, if you looked at the left fuselage, the wing below it, I'm talking about a, a temperature on the side of the vehicle, the left hand side of the vehicle above the wing. Unusual temperature rise. The temperature rose 60 degrees over five minutes. Whereas on the right-hand side of the vehicle, in the same location but opposite on the right-hand side, showed a nominal 15-degree rise, 1-5, 15-degree rise over five minutes. Um, let's see, uh, to give you a, a rundown, we're going to start here in Houston. You asked me yesterday whether we're concentrating on the tile only. We are not. There are other areas. Um, we're looking at structure. We're looking at thermal indications, we're looking at flight control. First off, uh, I'd like to thank... But uh, we have no capability to inspect the bottom of the vehicle. We have no capability to repair tile damage on the bottom of the vehicle. Even on this particular mission, we did not even have the remote manipulator system, or RMS, to look over the side underneath the bottom of the vehicle. And even if we did, its angle that its capability to look at the tile and, and discern damage is very, very limited. Spacecraft carry a flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder, and if so, were they armored to withstand this sort of forces? Well, we carry a, a voice recorder, we carry uh, data recorders, but they are not armored in the way that you think about commercial aircraft in a black box. We do not have that capability. Um, it's doubtful, doubtful that those avionics boxes survived. Can you talk a little bit more detail about what's going to be happening on Tuesday? We are gaining some confidence that it was a thermal problem rather than some other nature, rather than a structural indicator. But it again is too early for me to speculate on what all that means. Bill Long, Miami Herald. Ron, where is the debris being taken now for uh, staging, and where do you 